So you want to know why you can't divide by zero? Do I ever? What did your teacher say about dividing by zero? She said you just can't do it. Why not? She said because you just can't. It's one of the rules we have to remember. Do you think there might be a reason why you can't divide by zero, other than because I said so, or you just can't? I sure hope so. You're right. Let's talk about what it means to divide one number by another number, and then we'll use zero and see where things go wrong. Okay. We can think about division conceptually in two ways, sharing and measurement. I've heard of this before. Good. Understanding division in these ways will make it easy to see why you can't divide by zero. First, let's talk about division as measurement. Suppose I had 12 cookies, and I wanted to give my friends three cookies each, or I wanted to make stacks of three, or groups of three. The division question is, how many friends would I be able to share with, or how many stacks of three, or groups of three would I be able to make until I had exhausted, or gotten rid of my 12 cookies? The answer is four. Four friends, or four stacks of three, or four groups of three. That's right. Now let's look at division as sharing. Suppose I had 12 cookies and I wanted to share them with three friends. The division question is, how many cookies would each of my three friends get at until I had exhausted or gotten rid of, or shared, my 12 cookies? Another way to say this is, if I put 12 cookies into three equal groups, how many goes in each group? The answer is four cookies. Right again. That is division by three. That wasn't so bad. Exactly. Now, let's exchange three with zero in both situations, measurement and sharing and then ask the division questions. What do you mean exchange 3 with 0? You'll see. First, let's look at division as measurement. Suppose I had 12 cookies. Before, I was giving my friends 3 cookies each. Now, I want to give my friends 0 cookies each. This is not where the obstacle comes in. I can give you 0 cookies, and each of your classmates 0 cookies, and everyone I meet on my way home 0 cookies. Making groups of zero is not a problem. Seems silly, but okay. A little, but just wait. Now ask the division question. How many people would I be able to share with until I had exhausted my 12 cookies? Or how many groups of zero can I make from the 12 cookies? Um, well, there is no answer to this very sensible question because I can make groups of zero forever and never use the starting number of cookies. So the question makes sense but it's unanswerable. What about infinity? Well, some people try to answer this question with infinity. But, you know something is really goofy if I have to answer a very basic arithmetic question with something like infinity. Well, that makes sense. I guess you can make a certain number of groups of zero and ever use up all of your cookies. Exactly. Next, let's look at division as sharing. Suppose I had 12 cookies, and I wanted to share them with zero friends. Again, this isn't problematic. Wait. Sharing with zero friends. Sure. Think about it like this. What if I had a stamp collection, and I wanted to share it with my grandchildren that I don't yet have? This is something I may want to do. That seems reasonable. Right. And that's sharing with zero people, just like when I said I wanted to share my 12 cookies with my zero friends. That makes more sense now. Now ask the division question. How many cookies do each of my zero friends get? Or, in the case of the stamp collection, how many stamps do each of my non-existent grandchildren get? You just blew my mind. Good. Here, the question doesn't even make sense, let alone do we have a reasonable shot at an answer. How could someone tell you how many cookies each of those non-existent people should get? Or, if there are no groups, how can you determine how many goes in each of them? Or, if there are no grandchildren to get stamps, why would someone expect you to answer the question about how many each of them get? That's not really a fair question. Right. So, in both cases, measurement and sharing, division by zero doesn't make any sense. At least, in these situations you can see that something is very wrong if you expect to actually find an answer to a problem that has no answer or to a question that doesn't make logical sense. Just knowing that something is very wrong is sufficient at this point for you to be uncomfortable trying to divide by zero. I'm uncomfortable with it all right. Isn't this better than just being given a rule 
and told that you are supposed to just accept it on faith. You bet it is.